The first show I did at PS122 was Funhouse. What had happened was PS122 was started when Charlie Moulton was asked by MGM UA to look for a location for the movie Fame. So when the early days of the PS122, when you went into that space and you saw the wainscoting around the walls, that was all, it was fake, it was plastic. People didn't even realize that. It looked like an old room. It was something that MGM had stapled to the wall to make, the, make it look like this performing arts high school. So Charlie Moulton, Charlie Dennis, and Peter Rose, uh, who is event left fairly soon after that, who was sort of this genius performance artist, they established this PS122. And there was a, we started doing stuff in the space. It was just basically a big open space. I started a sort of a tradition of kicking my shows off at PS. I did, um, I think, Pounding Nails there. I did Sex, Drugs, Rock and Roll there. Um, and also, interestingly, I did a show called Notes from Underground, which was this journal of this insane guy where I sat at a desk and I read it. And years later, Jonathan Ames did the same show at PS122. He did the same piece down when they had the little space downstairs. Well, one of the real strengths of PS122 has always been that it keeps its hand very deeply into what's going on in the community. When an institution becomes more established and has a higher overhead and all of that, it's likely that they become more conservative. And it is to the, you know, the credit of PS122 as it has grown that they try to say, how do we keep this, this thing that made us live and alive in the first place, how do we keep doing that? And so I look forward to, um, seeing new stuff, finding people who maybe, I mean, given the fact there's been a lot of downward pressure on the arts community over the last couple of decades, actually, as all the public funding has evaporated, as much as, um, you know, new artists want, are working just as hard as they ever did and making just as much great work, they're often stuck in little tiny places with no resources. To see what a new artist can do with proper lighting, with um, adequate rehearsal time, and all the things that you need in order to make the thing really work, to their full vision, that's what I, I look forward to. I really, and this is very part of, I was on the PS board for a number of years, and it's very, I have a very strong feeling about the aesthetic of PS122, and I don't see it, and I've never seen downtown work as a stepping stone to some other thing. If that happens, that's great. We've seen some great artists move from the, the tiniest space up to getting Tony Awards on Broadway. But that isn't why we're doing what we're doing. We're doing what we're doing because theater is the heartbeat of, when I say theater in all of its forms, is the heartbeat of a community.